So good morning guys, uh, just thought we'd um, come for a bit of a stroll down the Beverly Beck um, I'll just give you a quick picture of where exactly we are So this is the Beverly Beck Gonna go have a Gonna go have a little bit of a brew this morning And uh, Just at the top near the River Roll And yeah just A nice, a nice stroll down there's a couple of people fishing, I think, at the at the top end, but we'll uh, we'll have a look. Lovely day, lovely, lovely day. So this is, I don't know if I can get a bit of a photo, um, but this is like one of the main one of the main areas, Beverly Beck. You'll be able to pause the video as well to uh, read the best you can. It's a bit dilapidated really, but it's open to the weather all the time and it's under a big old tree. So yeah, so this is this is a Beverly Beck. Um, I've had quite a few people um, going on about the fishing round here. It's really good. Um, we actually physically stood on, we stood on peg, 36. But yeah, this is the this is the back. It's lovely down here, absolutely lovely. But yeah, it's uh, it's it's a bit mental. It's, uh, normally see fry swimming about in summer. I don't know if I'll any you about now, but. Anyway, I'm going to go for a bit of a walk. It's a bit dark around here actually, the light's not very clever. But I'm going to go for a bit of a walk and uh, see if we can find any wildlife and try and get some snaps. So I'll catch you in a bit guys. So the Beverly Beck runs near enough from the edge of Beverly. But it's sort of like in between an industrial estate and what I can gather, I'd need to do a little bit of research. but. Uh, it used to, it's always been some sort of industrial estate. So the, this used to be full of boats. They used to fetch stuff in on the boats to Beverly. Uh, but now there's like, obviously, these buildings up around it and these Yorkshire water plant. Some big old trees, look at the size of them. Look at that, big old trees. But yeah, it's, uh, it's quite a nice, quite a nice walk. But yeah, it's uh, I've just seen a rising of somewhat just over there, which looked uh, pretty big. I don't know what, could have been a pike or something maybe. Um, but we're on peg, peg 32 at the minute, looking down, see if we can zoom in. Looking down the back. But yeah, um, So yeah, it's uh, it's a bit it's a bit of an odd one. So we're gonna we're gonna have a bit of a walk. Like I said, it's it's old down here, really old. These like massive trees, and I presume when when summer gets here, it's gonna be amazing down here. You'll have everybody fishing, especially when we're out of lockdown. Everybody fishing. There's a couple of ducks. We turn around. We turn around. I'll zoom in, see if we can. Just there. A couple of just sat chilling. So we're gonna keep walking a bit further down. And when I when I find something a bit more interesting, I'll fetch you back. But it's in it mental how you get a lot of willow near water. It's just an endless source of materials, but I suppose that's a good thing. And like, you know yourself, we will or somebody breaks it and it sprouts again. So they're always, they're always growing. I had a big willow tree end up on the back of my house, come down on the back of my house, but my log cabin. But yeah, look, 
it's a sign of summer. Let me come out, let me zoom out. Sign of what more do you want? Brilliant. But yeah, we'll just walk up here. There's the Yorkshire water plant. Like I say, this has always been a, uh, an industrial area, look. Wildlife everywhere. And it's nice to see the life boys are still intact. All right, they're spray painted, but they're still intact. They tend to keep it quite well maintained down here and cut. And uh, they're always picking up stuff from out of the out of the back. But we're going to come up to some interesting stuff in a bit. But it's nice to see the daffodils uh, popping up. Start spring. But yeah, it's good. So this Beverly Beck, it meets up with the River Hull at the on end. But I'll, uh, I'll show you more as we get further down. So we're on the Beverly Beck just walking down and then, oh my God, what the hell is that? So we're at the end of the back, near enough. Um, this is where I believe this comes from, up near Brandzone, not a little way, um, and goes underneath and carry, runs underneath the back and carries on going. I believe it goes through Tickton. I'm not 100%. I'd have to look it up on the. Uh, on a map, I believe that goes up to Tickton, but what a, what a such a lovely, such a lovely place. We're at Peg One, but look at that. It's brilliant. So right, this is where the beck ends and starts to meet the river hull. As you can see, meets the river hull. 